1955. A young mathematician named Yutaka Taniyama poses a series of questions. Questions so bold, they would one day shake the very foundations of mathematics. Among them stood one problem. Problem 12. The central question. Can every elliptic curve over rational numbers be described, or as mathematicians say, uniformized by automorphic functions? It sounded simple enough, yet behind these words lay a deep mystery, one that linked geometry, algebra, and the infinite beauty of numbers. This is an elliptic curve, graceful, symmetrical, but beneath its elegance hides a structure, a rhythm of points that mathematicians believed might resonate with something even deeper, automorphic forms. Decades would pass before anyone truly understood how far this question would reach. The impact of Taniyama's idea was nothing short of revolutionary. It led to the modularity theorem, revealing that elliptic curves and modular forms were not separate worlds, but two languages describing the same truth. It inspired the proof of Fermat's last theorem, a riddle that haunted mathematics for over 350 years, finally conquered by Andrew Wiles in 1995. And it built a bridge, a bridge uniting number theory and algebraic geometry, creating what we now call modern arithmetic geometry. Let's trace the journey. In 1955, Taniyama first proposed his 36 problems. In 1967, Shimura refined and expanded the conjecture, giving it clarity and power. In 1995, Wiles proved Fermat's last theorem, confirming a part of what Taniyama once dreamed. And by 2001, the full modularity theorem was proven, completing the vision. One question in 1955 transformed mathematics forever. It reminded the world that the simplest questions, when asked with courage, can illuminate the deepest truths of the universe.